Hey guys, welcome into today's video. This is gonna be a brand new series on my channel. It's gonna be a foundation a day for 42 days. The reason that I wanted to start this video is that I have 51 foundations in my permanent collection. It's the number two item, maybe number one right now, of makeup that I really like testing. I'm really into testing new foundations. It switches back and forth usually between blush, eyeshadow, and foundation, my three favorite makeup categories, probably a lot of people's favorite makeup categories. But 51 foundations is just too much for me to have in my collection. I recently did did a makeup declutter and I will link that up in the cards where I went through my whole collection and I decluttered breaking some of my makeup into three different categories keep declutter and then I made up a third which was items that I want to keep for reference but I'm going to take out of my permanent collection and move into the closet where I keep makeup that I think is popular relevant things that I may want to reference in future videos but that I don't want to use in my personal everyday life but I did not do that with foundation and recently I've gone through a really big skin change in the last eight months to a year I have gone from really really dry skin to very very oily skin and a lot of foundations that used to work for me that were more on the dewy natural finish side just aren't working these days so I'm grabbing and loving more matte foundation so some of my foundations in my collection predate my skin change so the reason for this series I don't want to just declutter foundations based on memory I want to retest a lot of them because some of them are pretty expensive some of them I may re-love some of them I may not like or may not work for me now and it's time to make that determination so while I have 51 foundations in my collection this is foundation a day for 42 days because there are nine foundations I have already made a decision on. Some of them I'm actually testing. They haven't gone into speed reviews, but I've worn them very recently. So I know exactly how I feel about them, but I will have to move them into wherever they're going to go, keep declutter or in the reference pile. And then there are some that I'm testing that I already absolutely love. Haven't gone into a speed reviews and I know that I'm going to be keeping them. And then two of them, I have already made the decision that I'm going to declutter. Welcome into day 17. As you guys can see, we're doing the Oma Beauty Say What Foundation. I'm doing this foundation because this one's a bit of an older one in my collection and so I think I'm trying to target some of the older ones to decide whether or not they're good because if they're not good we're just going to chuck them because they're definitely at least at the 12 month mark maybe more uh not gonna lie so we're going to go straight into talking about this so the full name of this is the say what weightless soft matte hydrating foundation it comes in 51 different shades I have mine in the shade Fair Lady T3C. The shade is too deep for me. It always has been, so it hasn't oxidized. It was just always too dark. I got too dark of a shade. This does retail for $39. It has a 12 month shelf life. It is made in Italy. This has six custom formulas across the different shade ranges. This particular foundation is made with a Guanaco Grape Mark Extract, which is specifically formulated for fair skin. It's supposed to be a long lasting, weightless, hydrating foundation with a vibrant matte coverage. This does have dimethicone in it, and dimethicone is really good ingredient to form like a barrier on the skin to help minimize water loss throughout the day. This is one foundation that I bought when I had really dry skin and actually one of the few soft matte finishes that I could get away with with having dry skin because I agree even though it's not weightless per se it is a lightweight formula and hydrating for a pretty soft matte finish. So this is one that I did like. I still have to test this. I cannot remember if I've even used this since I've had oily skin and how it would work for me. And if I do decide to keep it, it's because the shade isn't gonna totally be a disaster on me today. Otherwise, if it is too dark, I'm just gonna declutter it. I may repurchase it depending upon how the wear test goes today. If it looks like something super beautiful, I might wanna have this in my collection. But as you may know or may not know, the goal is I started with 42 foundations and I wanna cut them in half and I wanna pick the best of the best in my collection. So if this isn't the best of the best, there's no sense in keeping it nor repurchasing it. So let's get into it. I'm gonna to have to drag this pretty far down my neck. As you can kind of see on the swatch, like it's a whipped, consistency it doesn't run like a serum might so it's not weightless in that way but i would say like it's lightweight on the skin i'm gonna start on this side i feel like i've been starting on my right side every day not that that matters but you can oh look you can see how much deeper this is for my skin tone one side with a brush one side with a sponge I like that. I like the way that looks. It does say it has adjustable coverage on it. So if you just do one pump or half a pump for one side of the face, 
that you're supposed to get more sheer coverage out of it, but it claims to be a really buildable formula. I have built this foundation up so I know that it is a buildable formula and I've liked it even more medium to full coverage. I, th I still think it was hydrating and even on my like fairly dry skin at the time. I don't want to build it up any more than this. I want to see what I can get in terms of longevity out of what I'm applying because I like the way this looks and I feel like this is kind of an everyday soft matte finish. Hopefully you guys can see that some of my oils, some of the like natural dewiness that my face generates is still peeking through the foundation and I like that. I don't think it's a harsh matte that is very noticeable on the face. All right, we're gonna do about another half pump. I'm doing this much, it's, it's not much. It's truly about half a pump on this side of the face here. Clean, brand new clean, damp sponge. Well, I definitely think it's a bit of a deep shade for me, especially when I'm like looking at the sponge and I'm looking at the swatch on the back of my hand, I can see how much darker it is than a shade that would normally shade match me. I bought this online, so, you know. But I think I can get away with it. I just feel like I could get away with it a little bit more when I buffed it into the skin with a brush. And for this particular foundation, I actually like it better with a clean foundation brush than I did with the sponge. I don't think it changed the coverage any, the coverage level any. I don't know, I just, I feel like it was a smoother application overall. Not a huge difference, just my preference on this particular foundation. Aside from the shade not being perfect and there being like a slight contrast, kind of here down by my jawline. I still think this is a beautiful like everyday foundation. I like it on my skin personally, but also I just feel like if anyone who has dry skin is gonna reach for a soft matte finished foundation, this is really the way to go. Also, I, would, I do wanna mention this has been repackaged since I purchased this. I wanna say they've changed the like top component here. It's now pink or the top is also blue in some cases. I, I can't remember, but this has been repackaged slightly. And this is not as like frosted of a glass and the lettering is a little bit different. So if you guys end up looking it up and seeing that it has been repackaged, but same thing. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So glad I picked this one today because it is Thanksgiving today and I would like to, you know, look nice. So there is that. And because we are at day 17, I finally feel like I am making a dent in my 42 foundations that I have to test. We're almost at the halfway mark. So I'm gonna go and complete the rest of my makeup and we'll do one final check-in. That felt like all of five seconds. Nothing has changed. Skin looks super smooth, not emphasizing texture, not sinking into my fine lines. I mean, this just looks like a foundation that's super unoffensive, like just does its job really. That's kind of how I feel about it. I love the fact that it really has adjustable coverage and it, it drives home the point for sure. It says on the back adjustable coverage and it tells you how many, like, well, it says sparsely, generously and apply multiple layers for extreme coverage. So it does tell you on the back. They are definitely really proud of the fact that it is adjustable coverage and I like that because not all of them are adjustable coverage. Even if you can build them from a medium to a full coverage, they don't start out sheer. Whereas I think this one will and still like smooths out your skin and like gives you hydration. So I just think this is a really underrated foundation. Honestly, I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. I wouldn't say that it's like one of my holy grails, but every time I've worn it, as far as I can remember, it's just been a beautiful complexion day. Like that's basically, the sum of it. So done for right now. I'm gonna go do a natural light check-in for you guys right away. And then I will see you guys back here at the eight hour mark. We can see how this is holding up and you know, check on our check-ins and we'll decide whether or not it stays or whether it goes. It is 9.15, later than I would have normally liked to have come back and definitely a longer wear test than maybe I've done so far. My son is at the very foot of the stairs playing VR and is very loud so if you hear, Here's something in the background that is him. As I mentioned earlier today, it is Thanksgiving. To oh my gosh. It is Thanksgiving today. So as you can imagine, we got busy. We were cooking, eating, walking, you know, just hanging out in general. That tryptophan is a real thing. I literally couldn't even keep my eyes open. So we all went and took a nap. <laughs> 
<laughs> after dinner. I want to say around like 6 30 because none of us could keep our eyes open. So anyway, I have had this foundation on for over 10 hours at this point. I put it on at around 11 o'clock. So yeah, it being 9 15, it's been over 10 hours. As you guys can see, it looked pretty much the same at the after application mark and at the four hour mark. It wasn't like a huge difference. In fact, when I was checking my foundation in the mirror over and over after ap applying it, like so in the earlier part of the day, and it just kept looking the same. Like there was no wearing down. It was really a long lasting formula. It, it wasn't that my oils started to peek through, I wanna say until like six, seven hours, and then it's doing it in a, you know, a really natural way. There's not a whole lot that any foundation can do for my nose. And I said this in the very last video, which is if it doesn't break the foundation apart in a really strange way, so like it's separating the foundation on my nose when my oils start peeking through, then I can actually powder over it. And then like it can be a, you know, a powder foundation or, or something so that I'm basically just blotting my nose and, and my forehead. And I really didn't mind the shade. I didn't find like once I blended it in that it like wasn't adapting. Like it says that it does, which is in the formula that it's supposed to kind of adapt to fair skin. I kind of felt like it did, like it looked good on me. I also opened this like just to see, cause I shake my foundations a lot to keep them from settling. And the foundation is actually down here. So I've used about a quarter of it already. I would like to get some more use out of this one because it's a little bit older and I think it was a beautiful wear. So today we are going to keep the Oma Say What foundation. This puts my tally at declutter nine and it makes keep eight. I know that I'm getting closer to that split in between the two, but I feel good about keeping this one. I think maybe I'm gonna grab the next one, maybe be a drugstore, a little bit older of a foundation, and potentially one that's on the more dewy side. Probably one that won't stay in my collection so that I can you know, keep these evened out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying these series. I really hope they are very helpful for you guys. I'm out of here. I hope to catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.